working on a uh, composition doll today, so I've been like sculpting with this putty, and um, basically I'm a mess. But I had a call from a neighbor who has a UTI and uh, wanted me to make my UTI tea. Um, if any of y'all are readers of Backwoods Home magazine, um, I have written a, um, a, a few years back now. Since I was making this tea, um, and I don't make it that often, it's for urinary tract infections, so I don't make it that often, so I thought, well, I should do a video of this real quick, even though I look like um, hell warmed over here. Um, so, um, the first thing you're going to need is um, a half a cup of cranberries. And I like to, um, I, keep, I keep them frozen year-round because I use them, we just like cranberries, but um, they are so beneficial in a lot of herbal teas. Um, so you're going to put, mine are frozen, so I'm going to pop them in the microwave for 30 seconds, then I'm going to cut them all up. I need a good teapot and boiling water, you're going to use about two to three cups of boiling water. Um, I'm putting this tea directly into the teapot, and um, then I will strain it, and I'll probably put it in a milk jug or something to take over to my neighbor. But, um, so this is the strainer that I will use. Top up my cranberries. Um, you can make this, uh, I'm going to list the ingredients here. You can make it if you're missing a few ingredients. Um, the ingredients that I recommend that you do have to make this an effective tea are uh, marshmallow root, because this is going to help um, soothe the in inflammation inside of your urinary tract. You need uva ursi. Um, this is a Native American standby. Um, it works great for um, fighting infections in the urinary, urinary tract. And um, I think Uberversi marshmallow and the cranberries are the most important thing. Everything else is very beneficial and fights infections and just is going to soothe your urinary tract. Um, so you're going to need a fourth, um, a teaspoon of each one of these uh, herbs. You're going to need a fourth of a teaspoon of uva ursi leaf, a fourth of a teaspoon of elderberries, a fourth of a teaspoon of elderflowers, a fourth teaspoon of nettle, a fourth teaspoon of dandelion, a fourth teaspoon of dandelion root, a fourth teaspoon of echinacea, a fourth teaspoon of golden seal, a fourth teaspoon of marshmallow root, a fourth teaspoon of yarrow, a fourth teaspoon of hydran hydrangea root, one fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of vervain, and one fourth teaspoon of white willow bark. And then you need a half a cup of chopped cranberries. If any of y'all have uh, watched any of my other herbal tea um, recipes, you know that I like um, white willow bark for a pain reliever. Um, it, it is an excellent pain reliever and it's uh, beneficial for lots of different types of herbal teas. Um, so I'm going to put these herbs in directly into the teapot and then I'll let it steep for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, it is good to, um, like the marshmallow root and the hydrangea root, if you can pulverize it a little bit, break it up into smaller pieces, it will help the properties be absorbed faster into the water as it steeps. Um, let me make this tea and then I'll strain a cup and so you can see what it looks like finished. I don't add any sugar or honey or anything into this. The cranberries alone give it a very pleasant taste and the cranberries and cinnamon make it almost taste like a cider of some sort. Another thing you can do with this that is very helpful is put, make the tea, strain it, let it cool, and then put it in ice cube trays and freeze it. Then you can pop those out of the ice cube tray and put them in a um, freezer bag, market UTI tea. And that way, if you ever, uh, you or anyone in your family ever is stricken with a UTI, um, you have it on hand right away. You can pop it in a mug, um, defrost it 30 seconds in the microwave or so, however you need it. Um, about four or five cu uh, ice cubes in one mug. Um, it's just a lifesaver. Um, and then you can make, you know, and then you, you, when you're feeling a little better, you can make some more. Um, it keeps for about six months, I would say, until it starts getting a weird freezer taste to it. Um, uh, you can drink this continuously um, until your symptoms start to um, improve. You'll find that I think each cup you, um, about three cups, I, I think, through, you know, over a, probably a period of an hour or so, and you really will start seeing your symptoms diminish. Make sure you go to the doctor and get that UTI checked out.
Um, sometimes it can be just because, you know, you went swimming and, and things were not ideal, um, but sometimes um, it can be a serious symptom of a different condition that you really need to get uh, checked out by your doctor. I hope this helps somebody. I know that a lot of swimming in the summer and, and various different reasons why people of all ages have uh, UTIs and this has been tested on uh, male and female of various different ages and I have found um, over the years that um, it really works well and it took me about three years to come up with this formula to um, I kept adding things to it until I find, found this is very effective. So this has been Angie from Canterbury Trails Farm. I hope this helps you. Bye.